I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. Imagine a world, or a perfect world. But what would a perfect world mean? Would a perfect world mean everybody's white? Some may disagree, others may agree. But for me, I disagree. Imagine this! It's the same where you fucking go Fucking in stupid life The world is just my great spy
towers came down in nearly free fall speed. 200,000 tons of steel shatters and explodes outwards over 500 feet. This means that floors shattered at an average rate of about 10 floors per second. There is no scenario for a pancake effect of buildings falling that allows them to fall at the rate of free fall. And what can do that? What, what can move mass out of the way explosives? So I don't think anybody could have predicted that they would try to use an airplane as a missile, a hijacked airplane as a missile. Nobody in our government at least, and I don't think the prior government that could envision flying airplanes in the buildings. No specific threat involving uh, really domestic operation or involving uh, what happened obviously around the city's uh, airliner and so on. There uh, were uh, no warning signs that I'm aware of. USA Today reports that in the two years before the attacks on September the 11th, NORAD conducted exercises using hijacked airliners as weapons. And one target was the World Trade Center. Disinfect for us.
so fly. Huh? Doing this shit like he thinks a rock guy. Oh. What? <laughs> Is there 